obviously looking at this video, there are spaces, there are smalls that I need. I think for me for a really long time, I was always looking for large and medium items because I had a big space. But as we know here, smalls make the rent. So I need small stuff. I have a list of specific things I'm looking for, things that are already selling well for me, things my customers are telling me that they're looking for, things that are selling good at the store. And I'm gonna use that to help source out some new items. So the next video will be me going to look for some more items to fill my space. It was time to go thrifting, but this time I had a list. I needed smalls. I was looking for mirrors, prints, artwork, not really looking for tables, but this was a pretty piece that actually had claw feet. It had a lot of damage or work that I'd have to address. I just didn't need another project. So I kept looking. I kept looking and I found this vase. Actually, not old. There were two of them. It caught my eye and I'm not sure why the camera was in slow motion, but it kind of captures my excitement on finding cool things right when I walked in at a pretty good price, about $4 each. I put them in my cart. Stay tuned to the end to see everything I brought home with me. I was looking for clear glass cake stands or trays. I did find these, but they were kind of flat and just not the greatest, so I decided to pass. The store also had a lot of copper. I'm pretty good with copper right now, but it was fun to see all of the pieces and the good prices on these. I've been trying to get there early to look at these carts. Nothing great in there today, but then I found this. What a great piece of art glass. Not sure if it's a bowl or an ashtray, but I loved it. Time to get back to what I was looking for. I was looking for mirrors and prints, and I didn't find any, but I did find these. These are actually sand art paintings by Native Americans. My dad collects them. I know they're a big deal. They're signed and everything, and I couldn't believe the prices. Marked down to like $2 and $5 each. They're not really my style, so I did leave them. Hopefully, another collector will be as excited as I was. And then something always stumps me at the thrift store and this was it. It might even be the wrong direction. Comment down below if you know what it is. I know it's a hanger for something. Loved the angel, but unfortunately chipped off finger. I was finding some cool old things, including these porcelain knobs for only $4.24. Also found a French fry cutter and this tie holder for dad. I just loved it, $1.91. You know I always check the linens even in summer. There were some cool pieces, but nothing really stood out to me. Now this piece I really liked and I could picture it anywhere. Obviously it needed some glass. It was $8, it also needed some repairs. So decided to take a pass, but something like this would have made a great display piece. Time to take my goodies to my car and you know that high you get off finding good deals, you don't want it to end. I decided to hit one more thrift store. When I walked up, they had a really cute little ice cream table and chair set. Really didn't need it, kind of out of my price range, so I decided to keep looking. It was a good sign when I saw artwork right away. The Charmin baby picks were a little pricey for me to resell, but a really good deal for a collector. Beautiful curved back rocker in a pretty red color, around $40. Rockers just don't sell well for me. Do they sell well for you in your area? 
And then I spotted this beauty. And although there was damage to the bottom, there was no price. So I flagged someone down. Stay tuned to the end of the video to see what I paid for this amazing piece. Unfortunately, this one had no lid and right next to it was this planter huge chip on it but all very good pieces this was a good sign of good things to come my mom found this i was over the moon excited mccoy 2.99 but once again tons of chips and dings so i left them behind I am toying with the idea of different things on the wall, even plates. This was a pretty piece. I don't know, about $3.99, but I loved the color. The morning stocking carts were out here too. I did pick up a few things out of that cart. I also found one of these, $3.99. It didn't matter if it worked or not. It was coming home with me a ton of this stoneware the daisy dot there was just so much so i really had to choose wisely stoneware doesn't always sell quickly but if you pick the right piece also some of these prices were a bit high for resale i went home with a few hopefully you'll have to let me know if i made the right choice Lots of good old stuff here. I just had to be careful. I was buying things customers are shopping for and then my heart stopped. Check out these glasses. Unfortunately, this set was priced separately, so it really did add up quick. Also, some of them had damage from a dishwasher, so I had to pass on those. Usually right around June, I like to have bride and groom things just because there are people shopping for weddings. I also found these baby shoes, but I think they're missing something, right? Lots of old hand-painted china, very pretty stuff. I spotted these houses. I thought they'd be pretty lit up for a Christmas display, but it was too early to think about that. Also found this tray, a little pricey for me, but I loved it. And this mold, my mom and I were having an argument. Is it for soap? Let me know so you can help end the argument. My cart was filled up. I really got some amazing stuff. Do you guys wanna see what I found in my thrift haul and how I did with sticking to what I was looking for? Let's take a look and see if I got artwork and the small items. I did get the mirrors. This one was a good price, pretty style. Also, I loved this cross stitch. Thought it was really unique. Special thing about it was the bamboo looking frame. That is very popular right now. I also could not pass up these two little mirrors and they're even prettier in person. They look great in any space. I was so rushed to get some of these items into my booth. I didn't get a picture of the macrame plant hanger, so here it is in my booth space. The telephone ended up not working. It might be repairable, but I think it's still a cool piece for someone to put on their shelf. And I am a sucker for these vintage wreaths. I probably paid way too much. It's tiny, but it was in absolutely perfect condition. Couldn't pass it up. I also can use it at Christmas. Also purchased a sweet little vase on a whim. I'm not sure if it was like a monogram vase. That's what the V was for, but I loved all the crackle and the price was only 99 cents. I always say how well books sell for me. Pretty books with good names even sell better. This one was only 99 cents. Even the lady at the checkout was like, really? The framed postcard here says it is the world's largest flag. But my mom thought it might be the downtown Hudson's building. Not sure of that, but it was still a cool piece and I think a neat piece for someone's wall. Okay, for the stoneware, I came home with the pitchers. Maybe I made a mistake not bringing home the bowls or the other pieces, but pitchers can always do well for me and they can double as a vase. I like to have a little humor in my booth too. 
I'm not a big glass collector, but I just couldn't pass up this piece. So funny. I thought it was so expensive when I bought it, but definitely worth the price. And I love any shelf that folds, great piece, nice small piece, light, beautiful carvings. And with summertime around the corner, I thought this was just a fun piece, vintage cruise picture. Now the item that even Google wasn't sure what it was. At first we thought these might be for opening up lobster, then maybe ice tongs. That's what Google actually told me. Then we later came to discover that these are to hold when you're carving meat. They were 99 cents. I know Easter had passed, but I've never seen one at this price. So I picked it up and I'll store it for next year. Really excited about these porcelain knobs. I'm keeping these until I have projects for them because you can always use porcelain knobs. And my mom spotted this little guy. What a great piece. I have never seen one like it. But for me, the showstopper were these glasses. I just thought they were gorgeous and mid-century items are hot. Blue glasses are beautiful too. I really don't have many in my booth. Picked up a few angels. And I also went a little crazy over the clock in the back. And this vase, oh, so pretty with a peacock. Great price. I love boxes for staging in my booth, even if they have a little wear or damage. People also love them for projects, so I had to pick this up. It is a humidor inside too. And then funny story about this picture. I thought my mom wanted it. She thought it looked like a painting in my basement, but really we didn't want it, but it came home with us anyways. The whole point of the thrifting adventure was to restock my booth. And I think I was a little obsessed with that. In fact, I completely forgot to show you a few items. So here they are. And here are some of the items. I got this beautiful mirror, Oak Mirror 799, this huge candlestick. I think it's newer. And then the placemats. I just think they'll add good texture. And remember this mirror I found, it did have damage to the bottom. When I asked for the price and I pointed out the damage, got it for $5.99. What a pretty piece. I'm going to try to repair it the best that I can. I know some people like them in different stages of wear, so I'm not gonna do too much to it. So many of the items I added right to my booth. I'm going to show you kind of how they look, and then what's behind me is a sneak peek for what is coming next in my next video, so you wanna stay tuned. Thank you guys so much for joining me on this thrift hunt. You know, it is so important right now to keep stocking your booths with smalls because smalls are what are making the rent. So in my next video, I'm giving my booth another makeover in one of the rooms that I was just not happy about. And what you're seeing behind me is just a little sneak peek. So you want to stay tuned for another booth reset. Thank you guys so much for watching, for commenting, for supporting me. I appreciate you all so very much. Now get out there to salvage, repurpose, and create.